on September 26, 2013, the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations and the One Health Central and Eastern Africa jointly organized a workshop to identify challenges and opportunities for advancing One Health in the region. This one-day event brought together representatives from ministries of health, agriculture, environment, academic institutions and international organizations. Building on previous One Health workshops, significant time was spent in focus group discussions to provide a forum for exchanging ideas across national borders. This workshop is very important because, you know, for the last, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, months and years, we had a series of uh, workshops and so on. But all these workshops were about uh, the concept, about the understanding of the concept, about the vision uh, of One Health. But what we are trying to do today, uh, we have uh, brought together uh, the chief veterinary officers and the chief medical officers and uh, some experts from the different countries of the sub-regions. So they are uh, all together here. This is a kind of exchange of uh, uh, experience. Uh, you know, what has been done in Ethiopia, uh, I think people from Uganda or from Kenya can learn from this experience and vice versa. Uh, not, also, not only the successes, uh, but also the challenges. The One Health approach is important because uh, it increases the effectiveness and efficiency of service delivery, of public health service delivery, by bringing people together in terms of sharing skills, sharing infrastructure, and collective action in responding to public health issues. I believe One Health is important because um, in the changing world that we live in, uh, we're facing increasing complex challenges at the interface of animals, humans, and the environment. And one discipline is just not capable of managing those challenges. And so uh, I think we just need to move to a more interdisciplinary approach to dealing with those challenges. The animal side, the human side, public health side, and also the environment. The environment includes uh, not only uh, the wildlife, but uh, it includes also uh, different interaction uh, at the uh, environmental level. So uh, I think One Health is uh, very important and I think uh, this is a way uh, to go if we want to be successful in addressing uh, health challenges, uh, not only in uh, uh, animals, but also in humans. Uh, if you want the example of this uh, avian flu uh, campaign, I think without this approach of One Health, uh, it would have been uh, impossible uh, to, uh, to overcome uh, the challenges posed by uh, the H5N1 virus. The major challenge has been the political will. And, and that is at a higher level. So there has been lack of political will. And in that affects policy. So we have no policies in most of the countries because of lack of political will. The inertia of the community needs to be addressed. The inertia at uh, the public sector level needs to be addressed. The inertia at the private sector level needs to be addressed. And the inertia at the academic and uh, educational level needs to be addressed. So that these four can be able to work together uh, to address what we are really talking about. As one health. But what we are trying to do now is that uh, we want to move now from the concept, from the One Health vision to uh, operational tool, how to operationalize this concept in the field. Uh, very critical ways and the best way to implement uh, uh, One Health and to move this process forward both at national and regional level. And I'm also hopeful that this workshop will uh, help us identify good practices or best practices that can be used to trigger more process of thinking and improving this process. Uh, from this workshop, what I would like to get out at the next steps, how can we implement One Health at the community level? Go away from uh, just concept, but to something that is applicable. I hope uh, from this workshop that 
we are going to learn what the countries are doing, how far they have gone in terms of adopting the One Health approach. We'll be able to see what gaps they have in their efforts to adopt the One Health approach and probably together think of ways uh, to address some of the challenges that they are facing. The One Day Conference highlighted specific challenges in the sub-region, mainly related to political will, funding, and translation of One Health Science to One Health Policy with the aim to improve integrated health service delivery. Key next steps identified by the focus groups included actions like strengthening partnership between government and academia. FAO can play a role in assisting countries through the development of a One Health Roadmap to operationalize the concept at national and sub-regional level. Follow-up with national One Health focal points will occur over the next few months to ensure progress on the identified next steps at country level and explore potential actions from FAO.